my winning. It's like 25 the lives that you bust out of prison. Something's in the air. Something's in the air. It's like that feeling when you just. Hello, friends. Thank you for joining our video today. We wanted to make a video um, of just how this entire studio came to be and how fitting it is during the month of July and August that we are going to feature all of our instructors here at Get Fit. And we wanted to incorporate the very beginning and how it all came to be. We also want to combine um, my story, um, my battles, my struggles, but also really um, why we're here. And also fitting the fact that you guys voted us, which is incredibly humbling, and we are beyond blessed um, that you voted for us for 2015 Best Fitness Center. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We can't even, thank you doesn't even cut how we feel and our true um, love for you guys because we are here doing what we love and that's all we know how to do. So thank you so much for voting for us. That's awesome. Um, and so now we'll start just basically a little bit of background. My whole life um, I grew up not really um, very well educated I guess you could say on nutritional values and what was good and what was good or what was not good. Um, I would come home from school and a snack for me would be a Nutty Buddy Bar. If you remember Nutty Buddy Bars, yeah? Yeah? You remember them. You see, she's recording right now. I bet she doesn't. Yes. <laughs> um, and Doritos. And then I would go right to sleep and take a nap. And then I would be up late. My sleep patterns were all crazy. So, and I, that's just, I was home and that's what, that's what it was. So, as I grew, I was in college, I was going to school for business management. And I started venturing out, working out, and I fell in love with it. I loved um, the way it made me feel. I loved the science behind it. Um, and just basically how, not only how I felt, but how it made you look, whatever your goals could be. And you would, you would be in a room where you would see people with different goals and um, really just working hard and testing their limits and pushing themselves. So then I, started researching the best um, certifications to, to take and to really obtain to be accredited and to learn and to just stretch your mind, not only your, your body, but your mind. And so in 2007, um, I became certified through the National Academy of Sports Medicine as a personal trainer and really loved it. Uh, the school is very challenging, but it was awesome. I learned so much. And um, then from there, trained for a couple years then walked into a Zumba class one day just for my own exercise and instantly knew that was going to be the next step of my career. Loved it. Um, I was super unhealthy during my pregnancy with my daughter. Um, my justification for walking was walking to the nearest Cold Stone, eating and then walking back maybe 0.2 miles away. And I was on the verge of gestational diabetes. and. Um, it was sad and I knew at that point that something had to be done. So it was right around that time with school um, that I kind of changed my career path and ventured into working out after I had her and that's when that whole thing came together and then obtained the certification. So loved it, fell in love with it. Um, then I had Wesley years later, four years later and now that I knew how to manage it and what to do, I, had, I felt better, I had a better pregnancy. Um, I recovered better, so it's amazing what a little exercise will do. Um, also around the time that I was pregnant, actually I had just had Wesley, I was 26 at the time, and we have a history, a family history of heart disease in my dad's side of the family. And so my dad said, you need to go get your cholesterol tested, and I thought that was bizarre being so young. And so I did, and wouldn't you know that it came back super dangerously high for my age and given my family history. And I went to the doctor and the doctor said, you've got six months to reverse this because he knew that I'm stubborn and I don't like medicine. Or you're gonna go on medicine, he said to me. And I said, no, I'm not. I'm gonna figure out how to do this on my own because I believe in the power of food um, being your medicine. And that's been an ancient saying for hundreds of years. So I, Watched the documentary Forks Over Knives. Fell in love with plants, really. If you ever get a chance, you should watch it. We actually coach our wellness coaching people to do that. Um, then I read a book, How to Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease, written by a 
heart surgeon, um, Caldwell Esselstyn. He's awesome. Thank you, sir, for um, becoming, this was my next passion. Adopted a plant-based, whole food eating lifestyle, not a diet, because I believe it's a lifestyle, and slashed my numbers in half. Um, felt better, sleep better. Everything in my life improved so much. So much so that now I'm researching where we can go to school to become plant-based nutritionists. And um, found one through um, American Fitness Professionals of America. So we are almost graduated, right? July 30th. Um, we will officially be plant-based nutritionists, which is awesome. Um, and again, we put people on it to reverse diabetes, other people's cholesterol, fibromyalgia, tons of stuff. Um, the power of plants is insanely incredible. And so that's how really that all came about. Um, I struggled all my life, on and off, with my weight a little bit, um, with food addictions and sugar and um, not really knowing, not being educated enough to know what to do. And um, didn't know you could feel this good. So um, we are walking testimonies of that. So we've been there, we've struggled, we know. Um, so that's that. So, how this whole place came to be, really, um, we just posted something on Facebook recently. This place was founded on a whole lot of loss and grief and pain and sorrow. Um, I had been training and teaching group exercise at various places around town and also in Florida. And come back to Ohio, I'm teaching and training and um, suffered a knee injury. Um, right before the knee injury, my mom passed away um, of bile duct cancer, and she was my best friend, and it was probably the most awful thing that anybody could ever go through, right? And, but I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to accept it. I was in denial and ran to earthly things rather than the Lord, right, to be healed. And boom, suffered a knee injury. And all these things that I loved, you know, um, the physical exercise, the wellness, everything's been taken away from me, and I'm thinking, why God, why, right? Well, during the eight months that I was off, I was able to attend more Bible studies and be in fellowship more. And it was in a Bible study that the Bible study teacher, who was also one of our clients, Sarah Roberts, whoop, whoop, um, we were learning about spiritual gifts. And what I was finding in this study is that all my spiritual gifts were still there. They were still the same. They hadn't changed. Um, Sarah Roberts comes in and she says, hey guys, I want you to just know, she was reading in this book about how the enemy will come in and try to distract you from your true spiritual gifts. That way you cannot bring glory to God and what he has blessed you with and these talents and everything he's entrusted to you while you're on this earth. And it was then that it was like, it was like a revival, like a spiritual awakening for me, really, that the whole time that I was being tricked by the enemy, um, thinking that I was going to go somewhere else, but really what God was doing, now that I'm on the other side of it, was healing me and stopping me from going to all these other things in my life to be healed. And during that time, he literally scooped up pieces of my heart and mended them together because he's the only one that can do that. And so, after we went through that process, um, my husband approached me to open up a studio off of Gruber Street, which is a lot smaller, and um, which is a blessing because we made a move in less than two years, which is divine and not a bus. So, at the time when he approached me, I said, I don't know. I don't want to walk anywhere but with the Lord. And so we really prayed over it. We had some fabulous friends from church um, pray over us. And... Um, he kept confirming it. So here we are, right? And we dedicated this place to the Lord. And in just two short years, we've had to move locations, we've had to get bigger space. We've been to the Health and Fitness Expo to open up Pound for Brett Michaels. Um, we just won this phenomenal award that we are totally unworthy of because, like, here we are. We went, like, this is, it's insane. So, um, I lost my train of thought. I was on such a good, I always do that. I always get on a roll, right? Um, so here we are, 
And I'm here to tell you that our love for people is disgusting, right? We it's the only word. It's disgusting. I don't know another. Um, we have so much love for people and love for wellness <clears throat> and well-being and um, spirituality and, and physical fitness and exercise and feeling better that it really has become, it is and has been and will continue to be a ministry um, to love and encourage and inspire and help others to get fit um, in all areas of their life. And so we are honored and blessed to be here. And I pray that he continues to use us in the lives of others to really better the kingdom. So we thank you so much for being here and supporting us and believing in us, right? Yes. And um, allowing us this time to even make this video to share with you. And we hope that um, it will bless you, whether it's with hope or um, to be healthier, physically, mentally, or spiritually. Um, we are here to help you. Come visit us if you have not visited us, if you've been contemplating it. Um, we're at 320 London Road, suite number 105 in Delaware. Hopefully that doesn't change, right? <laughs> Who knows if it will, though? Um, it's God's will. So, thank you again. God bless you. Love you. Wow. Wow.